Welcome back. In this video, we're going to show you how to use Multipass in Sigma Nest. After you have created your nest, click on the Auto NC button and go to the Multipass settings. Go ahead and enable Multipass. Sigma Nest gives you a few options on how you may use Multipass. The first is by process. If you have parts on your nest that have drills, markings, etc., you can set up multipass for just those features. Using a cut sequence for multipass will allow you to specify how the multipass function will work. By contour, we'll multipass contour by contour. By part, we'll multipass whole parts at once. And nest will allow the multipass function to cut the whole nest layer by layer. To decide how to transition from one layer to the next, choose a transition strategy. Pick up at lead-in will stop the head and drill down into the next layer. Ramp down will actually cause the head to transition into the next layer while moving. If you choose ramp, create a lead-in and lead-out length for the ramp. Depending on the thickness of your material, Decide how many passes it will take to create a part quality you desire. Material thickness will be divided by the number of passes, or you can enter in a step size for each layer. If my thickness is 1 inch and I enter in 0.25, I will create 4 multi-passes. You can also create an onion skin, which specifies how much material will be left over before it makes its final multi-pass. If you do use small parts, define by using the X and Y what you consider to be small parts on the nest. If I entered in a thickness for all the small parts on the nest, it will keep that material thickness between the small parts until the very end of the program. That's all there is to it.